My name is Charles Zach and I represent Canada's National Farms Association. Formed in 1978 and became a registered Canadian gun lobby in 2013 and an NGO with the United Nations in 2015. I speak to you today on behalf of an estimated 4 million plus law-abiding Canadian firearms owners who are concerned about the UN's proposed ammunition marking, tracing and monitoring scheme negatively affecting their ability to freely acquire, legally possess, and safely use ammunition. Canadian, Canadian recreational shooters, professional competitors, and collectors and hunters spend over $8.5 billion a year on their hobby. They collectively fire an estimated 1 million rounds of ammunition every day. Women are increasingly active in shooting, especially in handguns. The Canadian firearms and ammunition industry employs almost 50,000 people and plays an integral role in the domestic economy. Almost all guns, ammunition, and related gear sold in Canada are imported mainly from the U.S. Canada has a proud and long-standing civilian firearms heritage, culture, and tradition that grows stronger every day. Canada also has strict gun control systems and records show that Canadian firearms owners are not responsible for any of the illicit bulk transfer of ammunition to unauthorized foreign or domestic end users. The ammunition manufacturing sector in Canada is relatively small, but is highly regulated and required to account for all its sales of ammunition inside and outside the country. Most end user civilian ammunition is in fact imported from first world countries who are also subject to stringent ammunition import-export regulations that, ex that includes marking, tracing, and monitoring. In short, Canada is not one of the many global bad actors responsible for the illicit transfer of bulk ammunition to unauthorized foreign end users. The OVANDED Working Group Through Life Ammunition Management Scheme presented before us seems to be advocating for a universal requirement of all states to mark shells and cartridges with symbols and or marks denoting lot number, manufacturing, country of manufacture, year of manufacture, a code identifying the original re recipient of the ammunition lot. As previously mentioned, such product identification require requirements already exist in several countries like Canada. Ammunition manufacturers are also warning that it would be very expensive to mark every bullet cartridge to suit. They argue that marking each bullet and implementing the mandatory record-keeping system would not only be a massive invasion of privacy, but it would impose such burdensome overhead costs that it would make their final products unaffordable to average Canadian citizens and threaten the very viability of their businesses. Canadian firearms and ammunition end users are rightfully suspicious because the initial deliberations were not done or were done in closed preparatory sessions, not open to NGOs. They have many unanswered questions regarding the proposal um, OEW through life management uh, scheme. Namely, would Canadian firearms owners be mandated to register their unmarked spot, uh, stockpiles of personal ammunition, spent cartridge brass and or hand loading supplies and equipment? Would Canadian civilian ammunition be required to be marked at all? Could unmarked ammunition or spent cartridge of brass held by civilians become prohibited? Could there be a cap imposed on the amount of ammunition a civilian, a civilian can, can possess? Where is the empirical evidence that concludes that this marking scheme will actually deter the illicit transfer of bulk ammunition to unauthorized end users? And lastly, is the proposed ammunition marking scheme, just another veiled backdoor scheme to usher in incremental global civil disarmament. Canadian firearms and ammunition end users and manufacturers are not the problem here and should not be held responsible or made to pay the price for miscreants and bad actors who illicitly transfer ammunition to unauthorized foreign end users. Therefore, we demand that Canada not be a party to this misguided nonsensical ammunition marking scheme because we are concerned that only negatively impact innocent law-abiding Canadian ammunition and users for no good reason. We also urge others to reconsider supporting and advancing this ill-conceived scheme that is doomed to failure. We, said, we suggest a more effective solution for only select military bullet cartridges is to provide a unique serial number for packaging units at the smallest size possible and forego 
the impractical and unworkable idea of marking every round of ammunition produced. I thank you for your time.